even as we get to the bottom of what happened at Phoenix and other facilities, all of us, whether here in Washington or all across the country, have to stay focused on the larger mission, which is upholding our sacred trust to all of our veterans, bringing the VA system into the 21st century, which is not an easy task. We have made progress over the last five years. We've made historic investments in our veterans. We've boosted VA funding to record levels, and we created consistency through advanced appropriations so that veterans organizations knew their money would be there regardless of political wrangling in Washington. We made VA benefits available to more than 2 million veterans who did not have it before, delivering disability pay to more Vietnam vets exposed to Agent Orange, making it easier for veterans with post-traumatic stress and mental health issues and traumatic brain injury to get treatment, and improving care for women's veterans. Because of these steps, and the influx of new veterans requiring services, added in many cases to wait times, we launched an all-out war on the disability claims <coughs> backlog. And in just the past year alone, we've slashed that backlog by half. Of course, we're not going to let up because it's still too high. We're going to keep at it until we eliminate the backlog once and for all. Meanwhile, we're also reducing homelessness among our veterans. We're helping veterans and their families, more than a million so far, pursue their education under the post-9-11 GI Bill. We're stepping up our efforts to help our newest veterans get the skills and training to find jobs when they come home. And along with Michelle and Joe Biden and joining forces, we've helped hundreds of thousands of veterans find a job. More veterans are finding work, and veterans' unemployment, although still way too high, is coming down. The point is, Caring for our veterans is not an issue that popped up in recent weeks. Some of the problems with respect to how veterans are able to access the benefits that they've earned, that's not a new issue. That's an issue that I was working on when I was running for the United States Senate. Taking care of our veterans and their families has been one of the causes of my presidency, and it is something that all of us have to be involved with and have to be paying attention to.